to spin this roulette wheel to figure out which superpower I get. Then with my superpowers, I'll have to fight custom bosses that get harder as they go on. So as you can see, there's a massive roulette wheel here with a bunch of superhero logos on it. And I think the first superpower I want to get is Spider-Man superpowers. So let's charge up my bow and please hit the Spider-Man one. Yes, the Spider-Man powers have been unlocked. And oh my, take a look at us. We have the Spider-Man suit on. This is so cool. And look at our hopper. It looks like we got this web slinger, a cobweb stick, and a spider mouth. Wait, these are some super crazy weapons. Okay, so first of all, we have this web slinger. Let's test this out because it looks like some building spawns. So that's actually perfect. So if this works how Spider-Man's web slinger works, we should be able to shoot the top of this and then we should be able to start swinging around and wait, this is working. Yo, this is so epic. I've always wanted to do this. We can now be Spider-Man for real. And uh oh, I'm actually getting kind of stuck here. Oh, I'm under the arena. Well, at least we know it works. This is gonna be really helpful. But we also have this cobweb stick that apparently shoots out spider webs. Wait, we're gonna be able to trap enemies in these spider webs. Okay, that is definitely going to be very helpful as well. And last but not least, we got this spider mouth weapon. And this is absolutely disgusting. What is this? It's like a crazy tentacle. Okay, I didn't even know Spider-Man had this. But I'm not complaining because this thing does 12 attack damage. So whatever boss we got to take down, I think we will be able to do it. And now that we've tested all of our Spider-Man abilities, I think we're ready to fight our level one boss. So without further ado, server spawn the boss in. Oh no, level one boss is spawned in. And what is that? Wait, that's the lizard. That's one of Spider-Man's main enemies. Okay, we gotta be careful here because that thing is extremely muted. Let's start off by trapping it in some cobwebs. And wait, that's working so well. Let's just put these cobwebs everywhere. So he's stuck in there forever. And then let's go in with our spider mouth and hit him. Ooh, that did not work too well. We took a bunch of damage. We gotta be careful. Let's use our web slinger to go on top of this building just like this. Now we can grab some steak and a potion of strength out of my inventory. Now let me throw this on myself and we should be a lot stronger now. Where is that lizard boss? It looks like he's down there next to all of my spider webs. Okay, before I jump down, I'm gonna put some more webs on him like this. And now he is completely stuck. Now we can jump down with our web slinger, swing around the building, go over to the lizard and use our spider mouth and get some final hits on him. Come on, we gotta do this. We're getting low on health. Oh, half a heart. Okay, quickly eat up. Oh no, he's spawning in tiny lizards. We'll trap these guys in webs real quick. And finally, just get some more hits on this guy. He is getting really low on health. You guys are no match for Spider-Man. Good always beats evil. And I'm going to prove that right now. Come on, evil monster, die. And yes, we defeated it. And phew, that was a close one. We are only on two hearts right now. Anyways, on to the next superhero. But don't leave yet. That was only the first round. And the superpowers and bosses are about to get a lot lots more crazier. And all right, I'm back here. And this time, which superhero logo should I shoot? Um, I mean, there's the Flash logo right there. And if you guys don't know, the Flash basically has the superpower to run around really, really, really fast. And he also has electricity powers considering. And he also has electricity powers because he runs so fast. So I think what I'm going to do is shoot the Flash logo on here. Come on, please hit this. And boom, Flash powers have been unlocked. And let's see how fast we can run and Oh, what? This is so cool. We are running like 30 blocks a second. Oh my goodness. This is actually kind of weird. Our hand is shaking so much. Okay, let me turn off the settings so our hand doesn't shake anymore. Okay, that is a lot better. We can just run around extremely, extremely fast. And we don't even get armor though. That kind of sucks. But I guess the Flash doesn't really have armor. Anyways, look at our hopper. We also have this electric sword and this electric bow. And if we hit a zombie with the electric sword, it completely electrocutes it like this that. And we can basically two-shot them. That is super, super OP. And I'm pretty sure this bow is even more OP. If we charge this up fully and then shoot the zombie, it does the same electricity attack. But we only need to shoot it once because the electricity will finish it off. And we also have these things called flasks of liquid electrite, which when we throw it makes a bunch of electricity on the floor. And if you stand in this electricity, yeah, you get electrocuted. Oh, I gotta get out of there. And last but not least, we have these physics dynamites, which when you throw it just makes blocks fly absolutely everywhere. Now, you might be wondering why does the Flash have these attacks? Well, it's because the Flash runs so fast he can break the sound and light barrier. And I guess that causes big explosions and lightning attacks, so I am not complaining. Anyways, now that I've tested all of my super cool custom powers, I think I'm ready to fight this next boss. Server, spawn the level 2 boss in. Uh-oh, the level 2 boss is here. Okay, look at him over there. What is that? It looks like it's some sort of robot copper thing. And wait, 
That is actually perfect. If this is a robot and I have electricity powers, I can completely make this thing malfunction. Because robot's biggest weakness is electricity. Okay, let's start shooting this thing. And I was right. Look, it's completely freezing it in place with these electricity powers. Let's throw some of these flasks on the floor to try and stop it. And oh, that's not working too well. All right, let's try some of these dynamites on this robot. Come on, stay back. Oh no, that's not good. He launched me in the air. Come on, land on the floor. Oh, I am really low on health. Run, run, run and eat some food quickly. All right, I think we're good. Let's throw some more dynamites and just completely annihilate this robot. It's raining dirt right now. This is actually kind of cool. But for some reason, it just turned nighttime. And that robot is now purple. Wait, what? Why is it purple? Okay, I think it's even faster now. We got to be really careful. Let's just try and get some more shots in with my bow from afar. And look, we're shooting it really well right now. Come on, stay back, Mr. Robot. All right, maybe let's try and get some sword attacks. Let's see how powerful this is on him. And wait, that does so much damage. Oh, I should have done that from the beginning. Oh, uh, the boss is already dead. Oh, uh, what? Okay, I guess let's just finish off some of its minions real quick. I can't believe it was that easy. I didn't realize how powerful the flash was. And all right, we are back at this roulette wheel. And remember, guys, don't leave because the superpowers just get more and more powerful as the video goes on. So if you thought our last two were cool, you're just gonna have to wait and see our next ones. Speaking of our next superpower, which one should I choose? I think I wanna go for the Batman one. Because Batman's probably my favorite superhero. Just because of how mysterious he is. So I think I'm gonna aim up here and this one's really high, so I have to be careful. And let's shoot it like this. Let's go. Batman powers have been unlocked. And what do we have this time? And ooh. My goodness. What kind of armor do we have? What? This is kind of like Batman, I guess. And wait, the best part is we have these wings on us. This is just like Batman's cape, and it's gonna allow us to glide around everywhere. All right, that's pretty cool, but we also have this grappling hook. Wait, what happens if we shoot to the top of this? And wait, it pulls us up. Whoa. And I guess while we're up here, let's test what this smoke TNT does. Uh, it has like a weird colors on it. And wait, what? Why is there a bunch of smoke? Wait a second. That's a smoke bomb. That's one of the gadgets Batman has. Wait, that is really good too. All right, what else we got? We got this stun grenade. Uh, what is this thing? Let's throw one over here. Uh, did they even do anything? Let, let me just stare at this and whoa, whoa, what? My screen just goes white. Whenever I look at that grenade when it explodes, wait, that is really cool too. We definitely gotta make sure not to look at them when they explode. But let's see, what's our last thing? It looks like it's a Batmobile? Wait, what? We have a Batmobile. Let's place this right here and uh, what? That is, uh, that, that's not a Batmobile. That is just a a tank. Uh, well, I mean, I'm not complaining. I like tanks. I guess Batman just has so many gadgets that a tank is included in it. We'll be able to drive this around and throw our stun grenades out of it like that. And wait, I just realized we skipped over this thing called the Bat Alert. Let's see what this thing does. Let's go up to this zombie and hit it like this. And wait a second. Why don't we get regeneration when we hit the zombie? Oh, wait, it looks like this steals life from enemies. So anytime I hit something, I get the regeneration effect. That means we're gonna be able to heal super, super efficiently during the boss battle. Well, anyways, let's get in our Batmobile, get back here, and I am ready to fight a boss once again. Server, do your best. Throw your best boss you can at me. Oh, no, the level 3 boss is here. Wait, I don't even see anything. Wait, let's go take a closer look, and uh-oh. There's a mutant zombie! Oh my gosh. Mutant zombies are by far the strongest mutant in the game. Oh, no, I gotta run, run, run. It's chasing me. Okay, what should we use first? I guess we'll use the stun grenade on it, and look away, and come on. Oh, I don't think it worked on him. Come on, you need to look at the stun grenade once it explodes, Mr. Zombie. And oh, that actually worked. He can't see anything. Okay, let's go in and attack him. And uh oh, that's not working. Uh, maybe let's just put down some smoke TNT and light this and maybe he'll get stuck in it. I don't know. All right, come on. You need to die. Okay, we're putting a bunch of smoke around him and now let's go in and attack him. Wait, this is actually working extremely, extremely well. Okay, let's use another one of these stun grenades right here. Come on, Mr. Zombie. Look at that. There we go. He looked at it. He's running away. Let's get up here with our grappling hook. And look, we can see him from all the way up here. Let's just throw tons and tons of stun grenades down there. I'm sorry, zombies. This is definitely going to hurt you guys. And now that we've thrown like 10 of these grenades down there, let's go. Let's equip our sword and fly down there with our wings. Let's go. Come on, die, zombies. Put some smoke bombs again. And this is working really well. We just knocked down the mutant zombie, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, but he got back up. Okay, let's go in and oh, we just knocked him down again. Let's put these zombie heads down in front of him to show him 
how much more powerful I am. We'll throw another stun grenade just like that. And now we'll get in our Batmobile and finish him off in here. Come on, zombie. You need to die, 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 die. And wait, I think I just killed him. I didn't even realize because of the smoke bomb. And oh yeah, look, he definitely died. There's a bunch of XP on the floor. Well, I guess that's another win for me. I am just way too good at this. And remember, guys, don't leave because things are just getting started. And which superhero should I shoot for this fourth round? Ah, we only have a few to choose from, but I think I want to go with the Hulk. As you can see up there, there's a big green fist, and I'm pretty sure that is the Hulk. So let's aim up here and let go and shoot it. Let's go. Hulk powers are now ours. Ah, uh, but why don't we have anything? All we have is this potion. Well, I guess we got to throw this potion on ourselves. and uh, is anything happening? And uh, wait, what? We just doubled in size. And what? Our hopper just got filled with a bunch of OP stuff. What did we get? It looks like, first of all, we got this earth bore gauntlet. This is like a massive gauntlet that goes on our hand. That's pretty cool. Wait, what does it do? And wait, we are digging through the floor right now. And what? Okay, I guess the Hulk is so strong that he can dig through the earth and throw blocks around like that. And look at how high we can jump and how fast we run. Wait, this is so, so good. The Hulk is definitely our strongest powers yet. And we also have this nuclear waste dynamite, which makes a bunch of nuclear radioactive stuff on the floor. But that actually does make sense because the Hulk did get his powers from radioactive stuff. And so did we. We threw a chemical X potion on ourselves. And that's how we became mutant Hulk with this super cool gauntlet. Well, anyways, that's all we have. But I'm pretty sure we do a bunch of damage. And you know what that means? We can spawn in the next boss. Server spawn in level four boss right now. Okay, they are here. And wait, that is not just one boss. That is three bosses. Wait, these are mutant husks. This is like the abomination, which is Hulk's biggest enemy. Okay, anyways. I guess let's just go in and try and do some damage to these guys. And since we are the Hulk and we are so big and strong, we should be able to use our gauntlet and just go under these guys like this. Come up and whoa, we are flying in the sky. Let's go in and just try and do as much damage to these guys as we can. You are no match for me and how big I am. All right, we just knocked that guy down really quickly. Wait, that is really good. Okay, let's use this gauntlet and try and kill some of these smaller zombies. Die, guys. And let's also throw nuclear waste at these guys and poison them all. Oh, wait, I'm pretty sure there was three mutant husks to start off with. Why are there four now? Okay, I'm just gonna keep throwing nuclear waste on these guys because this seems to be one of my best weapons. Now, let's go in with our gauntlet again and try and do some even more damage to them. Come on, we are not even taking any hearts. I guess the Hulk just has so much health that he cannot even take damage. Come on, guys, you need to die. I don't know why there are so many of you. We should be good. Just a couple more hits on these guys. They're trying their hardest to smash me, but I am the real Hulk and only I can hold smash them. There we go. We just took down that guy and we also took down another one. It looks like there's only one more over here. Let's throw our last nuclear waste on him real quick. And oh wait, did he just die from the nuclear waste? Yes, he did. That means we just defeated all of those bosses and now I'm stepping on radioactive stuff. Okay, just get me off of here. On to the next superhero. And once again, we are back here at the roulette wheel. And I am super excited because these last three superheroes are going to be easily the most overpowered ones. So if you guys thought anything was cool in this video, it's about to be even cooler by 10 times. And which superpowers should we get next? Um, I'm pretty sure that is an Iron Man mask right there. And Iron Man can, like, fly and stuff, so I'm pretty sure I know which one I'm gonna shoot. I wanna become Iron Man. Alright, let's shoot this in three, two, one, and we are now Iron Man. Oh my, look at how cool we look. We have the full Iron Man suit and everything. And wait, we can fly! Let's go! We have rocket boots that spit out a bunch of fire and let us fly anywhere in survival mode. But that's not it. We also have this thing called a nanotech tool which acts as a sword, I'm pretty sure. I bet this thing does a lot of damage. And then we also have this thing called a ray gun. Wait, let's use this right here and oh, what? We can just blow holes in the floor. Whoa! Okay, that is very, very powerful, but we do not want to waste the durability of that right now. And oh man, we can just spam this thing. Okay, yeah, yeah. We gotta save that. And then we also have this dark matter mini gun and whoa! Oh, this is a what? This thing just fires out like a trillion bullets a second. And it has these really cool purple trails. Oh my. And I thought the Hulk was strong. This is like 90,000 times stronger. Oh, that's not good though. That probably means we're gonna have to 
fight a very, very OP boss. Okay, well, I guess speaking of the boss, the server spotted and I am ready to fight the next boss. Level 5 boss. Okay, there it is. And wait a second. That is a Sun Chief. Oh, no, that is not good. Sun Chiefs are one of the most powerful things in the game because they have the power of the sun. He can just call down sunbeams onto me. And if I get hit by one of those, it's basically instant death. Okay, I guess let's just start off by trying to kill this guy's minions with my minigun. Come on, minions. You need to die. And let's use this ray gun on the main boss. There we go. And oh my gosh, that did so much damage. Come on, guys. You need to die. And oh, what is he doing? He's doing a sun laser on me. And wait, these guys are healing him. I'm pretty sure I need to kill these guys. He's back at full health somehow. Come on, guys. You need to die. Get out of here. Oh no, I'm also getting very low on health. Let's eat some steak. And let's go in with our nanotech tool and try and do some melee attacks on him. Oh no, this is not working at all. I think these guys are just healing him. Okay, let's just blow these guys up real quick. And now let's do some more explosion attacks to him. Okay, maybe I should just stick to the explosions. That is really, really powerful. But what's he doing now? And what? What? This is a massive nuclear explosion. Okay, I am so done. Let's just finish this guy off. You are messing with the wrong superhero. Uh, uh why is he not dying? Come on, die, die, die. Come on, I need to finish him quickly. And oh, uh. I guess he's dead. Let's go, you stupid monster. I just completely destroyed him as Iron Man. Let's go. This is by far my favorite superhero so far. But we're not even done yet. We gotta shoot our next superhero, and I'm just not gonna waste any time. Let's shoot... Uh, I think that's Thor's hammer. And I would like to become Thor, so let's shoot the Thor's hammer. Let's go. Let's see what kind of powers Thor has. So first of all, it looks like we've got some crazy OP strong metal armor on. And that's usually what Thor wears, so that's pretty cool. But we've also got this super cool Stormbreaker hammer. And when we throw this, it strikes down a bunch of lightning. Wait, that is just like Thor's attacks. That's pretty cool, but we also have this thunder staff that when we shoot it, makes massive explosions with lightning. What? And then also we have lightning dynamite, which uh makes an entire lightning storm, I guess. These are just getting more and more powerful as we test the more weapons. What? There's so much lightning. We also have this thing called a light feather, which when we right-click it, it turns into... Wait, what? Are these angel wings? Wait, that's pretty cool. Let's put these on real quick. And oh yeah, now we can fly. Let's go. Uh, I guess Thor is like a god, so I guess that's why he can fly. Oh, and anyways, it looks like the level 6 boss just spawned in. I wasn't even ready. And what is this thing? Is it like some sort of frost monster? Uh, maybe let's try and wake it up with this thunder staff. And oh, that definitely woke it up. Oh, it's doing a massive roar right now. Okay, it's a good thing we can fly. We gotta be careful here, though, because it's spitting big balls of ice at me. All right, let's use some of these lightning dynamites on this boss. And oh, it is just getting struck by so much lightning right now. But, uh oh, it just froze me. That is not good. We gotta get away from this thing. Let's try throwing our Stormbreaker at it. It froze me in ice. Oh no, try that again. Let's try that. Oh, this is not working very well. It seems like this Thunder Staff might be our best weapon just because of how powerful those explosions are. And oh yeah, I'm liking how this is going. We are doing so much damage so quickly to this Frost Mob. Let's finish him off with some lightning storms real quick and uh oh i got frozen again but it looks like he died anyways let's go our superpowers are just getting so unbelievably strong that we can kill though even the strongest bosses so quickly well there's only one superhero left on this roulette wheel and that is superman that is the superman logo if you can't tell so let's stand on our white platform and let's shoot this final superhero and get our most powerful powers yet oh i'm excited to see this and we got it but uh, wait, what, what? We have nothing. What? Superman gets nothing? Are you kidding me? This is the worst one. Wait, what? How am I flying? Wait a second. I'm in creative mode. Oh my gosh. I can just get anything in the game. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I guess Superman is the most powerful superhero after all. All right, what should we get? I guess let's get this shrinking device. And let's make ourselves super duper big with it. Oh my, look at how big we are. And then let's get the coolest looking armor we can. Oh, and check this armor out. We got some super glowy shiny green armor. I can't really see it because I'm so big. But if we make ourselves normal size again, you can see how cool this armor is. And actually, I don't even know why I'm getting armor. We're in creative mode. We can't even die. Okay, let's just grab ourselves a bazooka. This is all we're gonna need. I love bazookas. And yeah, let's just spawn in the level 7 boss and the final boss. Server, spawn it in! Alright, let's see what the final boss is. And oh, it's just a cosmic fiend. Normally, I would be really scared of a cosmic fiend, but since we are in creative mode, let's get our bazooka and completely destroy this thing. Uh, yeah, this is not really doing any damage. Okay, we need a much better weapon. Let's try and find 
on a massive sword. And, oh, this should work. Look at how big this sword is. Okay, let me go big again, and let's go kill the Cosmic Fiend once and for all. And there we go. Yeah, I've never killed a boss that easily, especially a Cosmic Fiend, but I guess anything is possible in creative mode. Anyways, we have now spun the entire roulette wheel of superpowers. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to click the video on the screen and subscribe. Seriously, subscribe, please subscribe. I need subscribers. Please subscribe. Subscribe. Bye. Bye, 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 bye.